So, hey everyone, me again coming back at you. Hope, uh, hope that this video reaches you all okay, and that that all of you are having a fantastic time, close to your loved ones, without without anything of major force. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, let's talk more, right? Because because I want to talk. Uh, something that I wanted to talk about that I think that I, a lot of people will really will really be interested in hearing about is about the whole idea of adulthood, particularly from the point of view of moving out. Um, I know that there's a lot of economical factors. There's a lot of systemic issues, really, really heavy stuff, actually that prevents a lot of people from like either moving out of their parents' house or that really constrains what they get to do in life. Like, you know, and particularly, for example, like in Mexico, it is incredibly common for people to never move out until, of course, until they marry and until they're, they, they're able to move like to, to, to the married context directly from living in the context where you're your parents' child and there's a lot of reasons to that however I think that particularly one of the biggest reasons is that Mexico is more of a of a group oriented kind of culture um, people are expected to remain the, for longer in the family context because the vision of the world that you get out of the box in Mexico is that without your family you're nothing and of course this has a lot of benefits this has a lot of great things about it this has a lot of things that people from other countries really envy about it like, you know like the whole closeness and the whole fact that you live together with people that are really near and dear to you for so long and the fact that or for example like if the family organizes parties or if there's like this tradition that the family should get together just to hang around to and to sort of like catch up with each other every so often so people there's a lot of people that get a huge kick out of that but I think that, and this is kind of a controversial opinion, this is kind of something that not everybody will tell you about it. I think that cultures like those um, have another side of the coin, right? So sure, uh, you got like a safety net uh, related to the people that you have around and you're expected to embrace that same mentality, not only with your family, but also with your workplace. Once so, once you once you join a certain workplace, you're expected to remain there forever. They literally tell you in offices in Mexico, "We see ourselves as a family." By the way, pro tip: if you ever hear that from an office, just go away. It's just an employer; it's not a family. <laughs> you shouldn't do that. But anyway, um, I think that what happens is that countries like those basically function on the basis of a more group oriented kind of culture whereas in America people are more independent they're expected to be more independent they're expected to to take agency of their own lives so well let's let's try to land let's try to like sort of ground the point a little bit more um I think that living alone is an experience that everybody should allow themselves to have uh, a, lot, a lot of people in the state sort of take it as a given even more with you know if you go to college or something like that but I mean but if you're not in that kind of context and I know I know that it's pretty hard sometimes to move out and that is not particularly cheap but no matter what do it and the reason why I believe that's worthy is because like again living by yourself means that you're gonna have to stick to a really horrendously tough regime to a really strict schedule 
it means that you're going to have to be responsible about everything in your life. You're going to have to cook for yourself. You're going to have to procure everything that you need to live. You're going to have to shop for yourself. You're going to have to clean your own house. You're going to have to uh, like take up a job and be responsible about it. Uh, you're going to have to take the responsibility of developing your social life, developing, finding friends, finding people, finding contacts. Like all of that is a humongous amount of work. So if there's people that shy away from that, I get them. But, but in my opinion, if you live, uh, if you, if you give yourself the chance to live by yourself, you walk away from it with a skill set that you will never have gotten otherwise. And this, this is a key point of this. More people should be going that way, no matter how hard it is, just on the basis that it teaches you things like it teaches you how to bear yourself it teaches you that life is going to be about carrying really heavy weights it's about taking on things and taking taking on weight and more weight and more weight and more weight but guess what but if you get to do it if you get to pick your battles if you get to pick what weight you carry then then it starts like making something click inside your mind then it makes something awaken like inside your mind i think that literally it stimulates like different parts of your brain that you will never have gone in a stimulator otherwise like i mean of course again like it's gotta be pretty nice to still be 35 and be with your parents and all that and believe me uh the whole warm meal and um and somebody to you know somebody to keep you company all the time like i know that that has that has its advantages but so you know so i guess a little bit of a little bit of personal story and i mean i'm not trying to make it about myself or anything but i moved out when i was 23 admittedly a little bit too late you in in even more by american standards mind you but man but when i did that like it was the best freaking decision that i ever took in my life and ever since then i think that everything in my life like in in all aspects in all regards everything has gotten like massively better since then best decision that i ever took for real i i I had a job back then, but I wasn't making like a lot of money. It made like the equivalent in local currency to um to like five hundred dollars. So pretty rough. <laughs> Good luck paying a rent a rent in Seattle with that kind of money, right? But um, but you know, um, back then. So I remember that I I came home one day from work. And I found out that my family pawned off a bunch of my stuff because supposedly like they needed some like like money or whatever. And of course it was like a lot of uh, of course it was like a lot of bullshit and I realized that, that at that point there's no way that they were gonna have a respectful relationship with me. So so literally that very same day, the very same day they did that. I walked in and I, I filled two bags with my clothes and like with the stuff that I had there and I just I just freaking walked out of there like literally that very same day I asked a friend just for like a week of you know just to try to find a little bit of uh, of footing out there and um, in that week I managed to find again like somehow even if it's pretty, if it is, it's pretty rough, but you gotta make it work, right? Like, I managed to find a place, and I moved out without any furniture. <laughs> in um, the first month that I lived in that place, I would literally, I, I literally just had a futon. And I, and I would sleep in a futon. <laughs> and, but, and, and even, even if it was, like, hard to, like, get started, and that I had to take more responsibilities for myself, and I had to start buying furniture for myself and actually doing this, which is like a lot of work, I tell you, but, but I did it. 
but and, and and that's what and that's what I think that a lot of people have to learn to do. Like a lot of people will be in a better place in life if they if they went through all of that struggle, because it is a struggle. And again, like I guess like having having a having a really nice family life, that's inviable on a lot of ways. But but I honestly I I I say this from the. I say this from the bottom of my heart because I had a lot of people that, a lot of dear and near friends of mine, that I think that maybe they're being held back by their family context, or maybe they're being held back by the people that they have around, by the friendships that they have around. Maybe they should switch contexts and try to get influence from like other people, maybe try to live life another way. And a lot of that is gonna be move out, move out on your own, get out into the world, just like throw yourself into the deep. And does it suck? Oh, it sure does. And do you get hurt out of that? Of course you're gonna get hurt, but but you're gonna get hurt and you're gonna you're gonna withstand it. That's that's what it's always been about. Things always suck. That that that's always a given. That's why that's why we're here. The only variable is what are you willing to do for yourself to change that, right? So that's what I wanted to say. So thanks so much everyone. To um I really appreciate uh each and every one of you who's like listening to these messages. Um if you have like anything to say, feel free to drop a line and otherwise as long as I have your continuous uh listenership. I think that's all that matters. So see you in the next one. Okay.